the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice reels out the achievements of his ministry within the last 18 months. From prosecution to conviction to recovery of looted funds and the overall justice dispensation system. The Attorney General of the Federation says the federal government has secured 1,000 convictions on terrorism even as the military continues to bombard armed bandits and other criminal elements ravaging parts of the country. There has also been 312 other convictions for various criminal cases recorded within 18 months. In collaboration with the international community in the dispensation of justice, Abubakar Malami says his ministry has successfully executed 350 mutual legal assistance requests and over 50 extradition requests. One of these extradition requests was from the United States for the suspended Deputy Commissioner of Police, Abakiari, implicated in the multi-million dollar money laundering fraud. There are people that were alleged to have committed crimes in other jurisdictions and perhaps maybe run into Nigeria. And arising from the mutual legal assistance support arrangement entered into Nigeria and other countries, we have a responsibility on demand to look at the demand, take judicial processes and steps to ensure... In the last two weeks, security forces have forged closer ties in operations resulting in a number of success. The arrest of the mastermind of the attack on the St. Francis Catholic Church Award and his accomplices is one outcome of collaboration. As investigations continue, security forces are looking to bring in more suspects. Yesterday again, I sent out another press release of the arrest of two additional uh, suspects linked to the attack on the uh, 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 church. In the counterinsurgency operations in the northeast, troops rescued 109 kidnapped victims in the last two weeks. Troops also neutralized 29 terrorists, arrested 55 suspected Boko Haram terrorists and their collaborators, rescued 52 civilians. Also, warrant with eight rounds of ammunition, five bicycles, 12 AK 47 rifles, four motorcycles, and several phone, mobile phones. We are recovered from them. In spite of this, the security challenges continue to evolve. But what seems to be working for the military authorities is improved collaboration with other security forces. The United Nations Secretary General is convening a transforming education summit in September 2022. It is coming in the wake of the global COVID-19 destructions to education. The summit will seek to renew global commitment to education for public good, which is at the heart of individuals, families, communities and nations. The government of Nigeria, with support of UNICEF and UNESCO, is organizing this second national consultation as a build-up to Nigerians' effective participation in next month's summit in New York. It highlights some of the challenges confronting the Nigerian education system, which must be resolved before the expiration of the Education 2030 agenda. Nigeria must mobilize and significantly increase the share of domestic resources allocated to education and ensure that funds are used efficiently and effectively to support the disadvantaged children, to develop and maintain school infrastructures and to support the quality of teaching and learning for better learning outcomes. The second national consultation will seek to broaden consultation, enrich and harmonize our national statement as well as get an update on Nigeria's co-leadership role with Romania uh, based on the remarkable and significant multilateral work being carried out by the Action Track 3 team in respect of the critical role of teachers, teaching, and the teaching profession. 